Good morning. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, we did. It was uh, it was busy, but it was good. Uh, we had a fun time. So getting ready for this week here, full throttle ahead. Hope everybody is ready to go. So just a couple uh, quick tips here. First thing with inflation, inflation is keep you know keeps on going up. That's the arch enemy of bonds. I'm going to be talking about this more and more. What that means, okay? Why does that affect mortgage interest rates? So I'll, I'll have some other videos just explaining. Won't throw up on you with economic boredom, but uh, I think it's just important to understand. And especially in our in our country, I mean, I really wish financial um, uh, advice, and financial classes were taught when they were in kindergarten all the way through. Um, you know, start with the basics and and so forth. But having said that. Let's just talk about uh, the, the lowest interest rates. Sometimes that's not the best way to go. What does that mean, Greg? So, you know, I, I get that all the time. So I basically show a few different options to our clients. And I'll show them, you know, three or four options of conventional if they're going to go that way or if they're in between conventional vir you know, versus FHA. So FHA and, and government loans are always a little bit lower in interest rate. Okay. Good morning, Lori. It, it's always a little bit lower in, in, you know, in the interest rate, but does that still make sense to go that way? You know, if somebody could do an extra 5% down and pay a little higher interest rate. Okay. So sometimes that's a better way to go because if they go conventional after two years and 20% equity inside the property, they can get rid of that, you know, get rid of that PMI with FHA, even though it's a lower interest rate it can cost more per month because you have a monthly MI and then you also have the upfront mortgage insurance. Uh, MIP. And basically, it's a mortgage insurance premium. It's called a government tax. It's 1.75% of the base loan amount. So for an example, let's say your loan amount is $100,000. 1.75% of that would be $1,700 and change would be rolled into your actual like loan amount. Now, that doesn't change the payment that much, roughly about 7 bucks or so. Uh, but at the same time, the monthly MI, which is on a per month basis, including your taxes, insurance, and uh, principal and interest, uh, included in that is basically on for the life of the loan. Okay. So even, even if you have 50% equity inside of the uh, property, you know, it's still not the best way to go. Um, because eventually if you're planning to be there for four or five, excuse me, six years, you can eventually get rid of that monthly PMI. So, um, the, in, you know, in that case, it's not the best way to go. Sometimes it is the best way to go to go FHA, even paying those two mortgage insurances. For an example, uh, when your debt to income ratio is is a little bit on a high side, you know, high 40s, low 50s, uh, conventional is going to be sometimes difficult to, to get through, especially if you're above 50% debt to income ratio. Uh, so in that case, it's a, it's a better way to, to go FHA. My whole point in this video is that there's so many different options uh, that, that you really have to show your clients and walk them through. Uh, that's why we do the mortgage presentation. We break it down in six to seven minutes. Uh, we, we show them line by line where everything goes. Uh, and so they can make the best decisions short term and long term. Short term being payments and cash to close, and then long term, what does the interest principal look like uh, balance over seven years, 10 years, 12 years? Okay, and that all plays into your decision. That question, how long do you plan on being there? Which is a very tough question because life happens, right? But it's very important to know that it's not just one way. If somebody's just sending you just documents here, just sign here and this and that, that's not the right, right way to uh, do it. The, the best way to do it is break it down for them so they can see it, digest it, have some questions for you, and then go from there. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if, if you have any more questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or shoot me a text at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.